So a couple nights ago, I had a uh, popo come to my house. I was uh, playing my music because I like to play my music real loud and real proud. And uh, apparently somebody got the hem horn, uh, or my buddy Sal would say, him alarm and dem lammering. And I don't really know what that means, but I'm guessing it has something to do with the llama. Uh, somebody got the hem horn about my music being loud. Now, I like to play it up to 11, just like a spinal tap. And uh, so the popo came, and they were talking to me, and this one officer, uh, I, I don't know his, his actual name, I call him Officer T-Money, um, he came and he was talking to me a bit. And I, you know, I, when, when cops show up, one of the first things I do is um, I like to establish dominance, you know, like a rooster in a hen house. So what I'll do is I'll uh, throw my chest out and my shoulders back, and then I got a couple different walks I'll do around my house while cops are there. And um, I, I, Maybe I, I'll just do a demonstration real quick here. So when the cops... When the cops get to my house, or I know the cops are coming, first thing I'll do is I'll throw my shoulders back like that, throw my chest down. And sometimes I'll get my shoulder, my, my traps up like that. And, uh, and when I'm walking around my house, I'll point the things. And uh, also, what I do is I kick my hips out when I walk. I'll do like that and see if I'll move the camera down a little bit. So as you can see, my hips will go out, and I'll kind of kick my knees like that. So I'll walk like that. Other times... Um, I might just, I might just leave with my shoulders like, like that. I walk around like that. That way, um, officers know I mean business. You know, um, officers know I mean business when I'm walking like that. And, uh, anyway, so I'm talking to Officer T-Money there, and <clears throat> he's telling me I need to bring my, bring my music down a little bit. It's, a, um, some kind of noise violation or noise ordinance. And uh, so I'm just sitting there looking and listening to Officer T-Money. And I said, so you're trying to tell me that I can't play my Def Leppard and on occasion Shakira up to 11? And he says, no, that's, that's, that's going to be too loud. And I said, then what are we fighting for? You know, America, what are we fighting for? So anyway, my friend Sal... Um, I told Officer T money, I said, well, you best be lucky my friend Sal's not here. And he told me he's familiar with Sal. See, a couple weeks ago, Sal got himself arrested. Um, Sal gets real aggressive and he gets, uh, gets to kind of run in his mouth. And when they arrested him last week, Sal's like, well, why am I being arrested? And they explained it was, um, was disorderly conduct. And, um, you know, uh, one of the officers just saying, he told me last couple weeks, he said, your buddy Sal just doesn't make the brightest decisions. And this is when they were taking Sal to the um, paddy wagon there. And um, I just started chuckling. And I can tell by a look on Sal's face, he turned around and saw me chuckling about that comment. And he wasn't real happy about that. But I'll tell you, man, sometimes sometimes cops, they make some funny comments about stuff. And uh, it gets me chuckling. So um Anyway, Officer T Money's explaining to me that I got to turn my music down, and I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm at this house right now to do a couple things. One of them was listening to my music loud. There's two other things I'm always ready for. And if there's kids watching, I'm going to censor this a little bit, but two other things I'm usually around for are kicking butt, chewing bubble gum. And friend, I am fresh out of bubble gum. I didn't say all that. Uh, Officer T Money gave me my ticket, and um, I'm actually going up there in a couple minutes to get paid. But um, yeah, that's my situation. That's my weekend. And uh, so, yep. Yeah.